Hey everybody. Um, so this is Anand, what, no, Anand's website and he wanted to do um, drop down menus. So um, he asked me for help and I thought it would be a really good opportunity to show you a little bit of jQuery. So let's go look at the HTML first. Um, so in his nav, um, he has an unordered list and each uh, list item has, here's his link um, for the top. So he's got head topper. And then um, inside this LI before it closes, so see it closes right here, he's got an embedded UL with a bunch of other LIs. So this is the drop down menu. This is perfect formatting for um, doing a drop down menu because you want this to be basically a child of, of this LI. Um, and they're all formatted like that. So we are good to go. So I'm going to do one first and then show you how to do multiples. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to give this, let's see. Oh, I, I already gave this a class um, of menu item for the top. And then I'm going to give the, I have given this a class of drop down off. So um, when I, what I'm going to do in jQuery is I'm going to say when I hover over this list item, I want this um, to change from being invisible to visible. So um, first thing I want to do, if I, so I don't forget how this is spelled, I'm going to grab this style. I'm going to go to um, this style file and I'm going to say dot because it's a class dot drop down off and then I'm going to give it an opacity of zero so it'll be invisible um, and I'm only going to do this for one at a time because um, I'll show you a trick on how to get them all so now the default is invisible which is perfect that's what we want um, so now we're ready to add some jQuery um, it's the, the website is code.jquery.com. That's the content delivery network, um, that has jQuery and, um, you just want this minified version. So if you click on it, they'll give you this little embed code and you can copy it. There's also a copy button. I don't know why I never copy the copy button. Um, so then we're going to need to put this on every page that has that nav. So I'm just going to put it on one for now and Anand can put in the rest. You want it to go above your script. So everything loads linearly. So JavaScript will load and then your script that's using JavaScript will be able to find it. So now um, that's it. Now we're ready to write some JavaScript. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say, hey, jQuery. Say quote find a class called menu dash item, and when I hover over it, I want you to do something. And um, in this parentheses, we're gonna we're gonna have a, a generic JavaScript function. So function, and then functions always need parentheses curly bracket. So that's kind of um, how you write out the skeleton of a function. And then inside the function, in the body of the function, which is these curly brackets, um, we're going to open that up. And this is where we're going to put stuff that we want to happen. So I'm going to say, OK, when I hover over menu item, hey, jQuery, go look for a class called drop down off. And let's just do the quick and dirty for um, first to see if it's working. So I'm going to say change the CSS and I'm going to say um, here's where you do that key key value pair thing. So if the key is color, the value is red. If the height is the key, if the key, if the key is height, then the value is 100% or whatever. So I'm going to say opacity should be comma one. So zero is off. Opa uh, one is on like a hundred percent on. So let's see if this works. Refresh. Okay. Hover. Oh, come on. Give me a break. CSS. Oh, opacity. Opacity. Always a typo. Refresh. Okay. Please work. Huh. Okay. So now once we hover, it's on always, right? So that's not great. Um, the easiest way to not have to deal with this in a complicated way is to, instead of changing the CSS, make a new class and add that class. And because it'll be added like 
next to this one, to the right of this one, it'll override this one. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, jQuery, when you uh, go find drop down off and then add a class, and then we'll make a class called, um, and you see how it has class in the name of this method. Um, any, this is uh, called a method. Um, it, you don't add the dot. It's, I hate it, but um, that's what's happening. So drop down and then we'll make a class called on. Okay, so let's save that. And then in style, I'm just gonna copy this one. And then, whoop, I'm gonna make a new one called drop down on. And I'm gonna change the opacity to one. Um, and then, so it's still going to seem lame because the same thing will happen, but so, oh, I hovered. Let's see. Hover. Okay. I might want to fix that. See how, when I hover here, I don't know if I like that. I don't think I do. Okay. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, so you want to then say, where's the script? So basically, if I'm, if my mouse is over it, I want to add the class. So I'm going to use mouse, enter. And then um, if my mouse is not on it, I want to remove the class. So I'm going to say mouse, leave. And instead of add, there's a remove class. Thank you, Javis, J jQuery play and then let's see if this is working so add okay so cool so now how do we get that to happen for all of these well first thing we want to spread the love around we want to give them all those classes so um all of these will have a class of menu item on the main part main items Doot. Okay, I think that's all. And then the sub dropdowns will have dropdown off by default. So UL, 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 UL. Okay, cool. So now it'll be really wacky. Check this out. If I hover over any of them, they all turn on and they all turn off. Um, but there is a super cool thing in jQuery and JavaScript and many languages called this. So um, I like to call it this dot. And there's actually a really funny song. But uh, <laughs> maybe I'll put that in the in the comments, um, the this dot song. But um, so um, jQuery this is really cool. Um, it basically allows you, let's look at... Um, I want a better, okay, um, is each find, oh, I don't wanna, well, we'll look at this just as an example of how it works. So you can say, um, hey, jQuery, this, and this is basically whatever I just hovered over, clicked, like whatever thing I'm, I'm acting with right now, um, start from there, basically. So we're going to say, start from this, which is menu item. And then go find, so like, let's see if you, what this does is like, let's say, um, if you click a class name, then it hides it. Let's find a better example. One with find, because what we want to do is find a class within this. So that's this add, this CSS, come on. Um, maybe I'll just do it and then. So it's like this dot find is what we want to use. Okay, well, find, find, find. Okay, I'm just going to do it on my own because they're not helping me. They're lame. Okay, um, I'm just trying to Google too fast. Okay, so we're going to say when I mouse over a menu item, and I it, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to worry about this yet. But what I want to do is I want to say, Hey, jQuery, this, this menu item, this thing that I just mouse entered, go find a class called dropdown off and then add the class. And then we want to do the same thing down here. 
So when I when I leave, um, find the dropdown off and remove the class of dropdown on um, so that it goes back to being, you know, hidden. Let's give it a whirl. I'm really nervous. Body wrap, um, not working. Okay, let me refresh this. Okay, I just had to refresh. So now it's working. Yay, so I don't like this thing. So let's fix that. Um, in the style, let's just add, this is also another nice thing about having these classes now. So when it's off, let's just make the height um, zero. And then when it's on, make the height auto. Um, and this is for the drop downs, right? So it it'll only it should only shrink down the height of the drop downs, not the actual menu. Okay, let's go from the bottom. Okay, still broken, so that didn't work. Um, so let's play. Let's do. What else did I try? Um, oh right. Um, even though the height is zero, we still we might have to do overflow hidden. So the content won't try to go over this, the height that it's been given, and then it'll be overflow visible. Okay, let's try that and see if that works. Come from the bottom. Okay, cool. Oh, oh man. All right. Well, um, it's because the LI, oh, it's because you would think that the li would shrink down though. Oh, actually, okay. Maybe the li just has some margin or padding. I think it is kind of working the way that it's um, padded right now. So there's just a little tweaking that needs to happen there, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not crazy. Um, all right, I'm going to end this because I'm at um, 12 minutes. Um, I hope that was helpful just getting a little bit more like jQuery action and um, yeah, and thanks. Um, I'll post this the code as well too. Um, all right, cool. Thanks.